What is going on, ladies and gentlemen? It is Codexual, and today we're going to be talking about the PPTP VPN as we're going to set it up as for a server. And if you are ever outside of your home and you want to connect towards like a, a secured VPN, this is a way to do it for you. And it can be like, you know, cheaper instead of going through like another hosting provider. If you're out on the go, you can just use your own home internet connection. Um, and we'll be doing open VPN on another video, but today is going to be the PPTP. And if you haven't gotten the advanced tomato firmware on your router, please check out the video that's in the description that will show you how to get the advanced tomato firmware on towards your router, as long as it's capable of doing so. Um, before we even get into the video, if you guys can hit me with the big red button, that's to subscribe, hit the post notifications. Every time that I upload a video, you'll be notified. I do live stream on mixer.com slash codexual, and we do have a discord. So if you ever need help come through and, uh, yeah, just, just let me know if you need help or not, or definitely hit us with a follow, um, hit the like button and share with all of your friends and friendly. Okay. So. Once you're in your router and you go to the VPN right here, then you go down to PPTP server. You're going to hit enable and you're going to leave these settings alone. And as for the DNS servers, um, you can either choose the, the gateway of your router and choose that as a DNS. Or what I like to do is use the, um, I'm trying to think of the hosting provider. It's with Cloudflare. So you can use that as a DNS, or you can even use Google's DNS. So you can change it to 1.1.1.1 and 0.0.0.1. Uh, so change it to that and you'll be fine. Um, as for the MTU, change it to 1500. And if you uh, want anything, if you want to create any configurations, you can. However, we're not going to even touch that. Um, we can add a lot of users. So for this case example, we're just going to put in me and uh, which the password be. The password should be password. Never ever use this as a password, but we're just going to do it for this video. So you can create a lot of users and after you're done, hit save and um, maybe you need to reset your, your modem or excuse me, your router. Um, but in this case we don't have to, uh, you can also see what users are online and connected to. If you decide to allow people into your network, you can moderate, um, of how many people are connected and since when, and so on and so forth. So let's go ahead and connect towards our VPN by opening up windows, uh, hit the windows key, typing VPN. Uh, we're going to go to VPN settings. This will take a moment. Usually it should be instant. Usually, maybe. Oh, the lag on that. Okay, provider. So it's going to be built in. The connection, you're going to give it a name. Just type in home or whatever you want to call it. Um, the server, uh, which is going to be, um, since we're doing it locally, it's going to be the gateway of the modem um you can it should defaultly be port forwarded so go to ipchicken.com and get the ip address of your internet and you can put it in there and automatic type uh it's going to be a pptp and it's going to be with the username codexual and the password is password and hit save now we're going to go ahead and hit home connect and it's going to be connecting to it. Hopefully it doesn't take too long. If anything, I might have to reboot the modem here to take on those settings. Uh, the network between your and VPN was interrupted. This can be caused by a problem with the VPN transmission it is completely the result of the internet latency or simply that the VPN server has reached the capacity. Uh, okay. So what we're going to do is we are going to reboot the modem here. Um, just making sure that all everything is a okay. I feel like, what if we enable this? I don't think that we should even enable this. Server address, that we're gonna be connected to another server. Yeah, no, we should be fine. We shouldn't even be touching this. 
Okay, let's go ahead and reboot our modem here and we'll see what will happen when we come back to it. Alrighty, now since we rebooted it, it's gonna be the moment of truth. So let's go ahead and hit connect. And look at that, we are connected right in. So it's just a um, just a simple reboot that will do the trick. So now you can browse through things normally. Um, awkward how that says disconnected, even though that there's activity going on. If we go towards like, uh, let's go to YouTube. Just make sure that we got connectivity here. It's loading, slowly. Oh, oh, okay. Yeah, we we got internet connectivity going on here. Sweet, it would have been awkward. It's like, oh, it's disconnected. It doesn't work for me, bro. But um, no, it works. So that's all it, that it takes is just a simple reboot and that will do the trick. Um, if you guys find that this video informative and helpful, um, awesome, awesome. Again, um, if you're gonna connect outside of your, if you're outside of your network, just go to ipchicken.com so you can actually get the IP of your router, of your internet, and um, just connect it through it that way on whatever, whatever device that you are going to be using. Um, if you happen to have iOS, for example, uh, iOS has taken out PPTP. So if you happen to have Android, assumingly that still works for Android because Apple doesn't like a PPTP because it's unsecured, which is kind of true. Um, so that's why we're going to be making another video for the open VPN server here. Um, so it's actually more secure than actually the PPTP protocol. All right. Um, I hope to see you guys in the next video. Um, this is just something that's very simple to set up and I will see you guys uh, soon. Y'all take care. Bye. Protect your privacy and identity, unlock sensor filters if you're trying to get to a no-no site or you just want to be anonymous, whatever your reasonings are. You can connect to the VPN tunnels within seconds by using private internet access. Links are in the description. It's so low, like the, the, it, the cost is so low. If you're not able to afford for this, then you know, you're just broke as just as I am because I'm trying to get affiliates ads going on. Yeah, this is a sponsored video, by the way. Um, VPN features and look at all these great features, uh, secured VPN account, encrypted Wi-Fi peer-to-peer -peer support and so on and so forth. And you can connect to 33 different countries and there's a lot of servers to go around. Plus there's a fast download. I use this for myself as well when I try to get to those no-no sites. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to the continued content and thank you for the support. Links in the description. Thank you for sticking around. Please feel free to watch my other videos. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe, follow my social media. If you're feeling generous, check out my Patreon or send in a donation of any amount with PayPal. It really helps out with post-production, equipment, food in my belly, and also continue making free content for you guys. Links in the description. Y'all take care and thank you once again.